When I was a uh, teenager, my dad once said, he said, I'd like to, uh, I would like to invent something, become an inventor, <clears throat> become a, an inventor and invent something that'd make you a lot of money. Well, all these years, you know, that's when I was a teenager. Now, I would like to invent a game that would be big or bigger than Pokemon Go. That game that I would invent would make me a very wealthy, rich man. Now, when I get my own home Wi-Fi or broadband, I'm going to attempt to do that. Now, you got to remember, this month marks my 20th year on the Internet. Yeah. Late 1998, I called Loveland in Goshen Library and ask him if they had internet access. They said yes. Now, that's not my first time using the computer. My first time using the computer was August 1981. 1981. 37 years ago, I first used a desktop computer at a university library. And now let's fast forward to 1998. So I called Loveland and Goshen. I went to Loveland Library first, and it's really too small a library. I was used to a bigger library. So I thought, I'll give Goshen. So I come over here, and I got, and you know, and matter of fact, I went to check my email. That I cre See, I've had an email address for 25 years, going on 26 years. So I come on, uh, I come over here, get on the internet to check my email I hadn't checked in five years. You got to remember, this is way before YouTube. You know, the internet was basically boring in those days. I didn't stay on it all day like I do now. I come over here and rented some movies. But anyway, so I've got 37 years of computer experience under my belt. Not continuous 37 years, but my first... And, and I used a computer from August of 81 to 83. Two years of playing games and uh, typing. I practiced my typing scores, you know. Anyway, but now let's fast forward to 2018. I would love to invent a game that would make me a household word. And what brought me to make this video yesterday, last night at Kroger, and at the coffee shop across from Kroger, there was a bunch of 20-year-olds running. And by the way, you can get on YouTube and type in Pokemon Craze or Crazy People. It's, it, it's crazy. Now, I've not played the game myself. I have seen it on the phone. It seems like I hear it's maybe silly. I don't know. My, my game wouldn't be silly. But I would love to invent a game that would be as big or bigger than Pokemon Go or any of the popular uh, games out there. And I would love, I love the word own. I would own the rights. I would, I would have the license that would make me a very wealthy and rich man. When I was growing up, it was Monopoly and 500 Rummy. Deck of playing cards. But the internet has changed the whole ball game. Now it's all digital, much more pleasing to the eye. But when I get my own home broadband, when I, where, where I, I can get on it 24 seven if I want to, I'm gonna to attempt to invent a game like that that will make me a very rich man. Yeah, this month makes my 20th year on the internet. What has the internet done to me? It's made me smarter. They don't call it the information superhighway for nothing. It, to me, it's like a mini college, or a, not mini, a personal college or university. That's what it feels like. It's, a, it's my personal university or college. I use a lot of search engines, or I use a search engine a lot.